Are there elements of your AI images that you don't like? Are you getting distorted faces and unrealistic features? You need negative prompts. In this video, I'll show you how to use negative prompts in Stable Diffusion. Negative prompts can have a huge effect on your image, but not always in the way you anticipated. A positive prompt describes what you want to see. We do this all the time. A negative prompt tells the AI what you don't want to see in your image. Telling the AI what you don't want can be as powerful as telling it what you do want to see. You might use a negative prompt to correct distortions, remove objects from an image, or change colors. Some creators swear by negative prompts, others avoid them, but many of us just ignore them. Let's look closer at whether negative prompts work. I'm using MageSpace today, but many AI image generators have a place to enter negative prompts. In MageSpace, check the advanced prompt box to see the negative prompts. Start by entering a positive prompt, what you want to see. Then enter a negative prompt, what you don't want to see. Here's the result without the negative prompt. Now with the negative prompt. Poof, my people are gone. This negative prompt worked just like I wanted, but it's not always that simple. Here's another example. Negative prompts work great when they work, but asking for no light trails completely changed the style of my image. Not a little bit, a lot. All the things I liked about this image got wiped out by one negative prompt. There's no doubt that negative prompts have some effect on an image. Take this cat made in Stable Diffusion 2.1. Add a negative prompt like ugly, deformed, or imperfect, and it's like the AI completely forgot about the cat. In this case, a negative prompt doesn't make our cat image better. It overwhelms the positive prompt. What does make my cat image better is positive prompting. A beautiful cat. A perfect cat. A well-formed cat. And if I combined a positive and a negative prompt, I get the best results yet. A beautiful cat that is not ugly. So it's not just the positive prompt or the negative prompt, it's the relationship between the two. Negative prompts affect your image. It's just a matter of finding the right negative prompts. You can use anything you want as a negative prompt, but there are some common negative prompts used in Stable Diffusion. Popular negative prompts try to counteract known problems like face and hand distortions. To get this image, the creator added quite a few negative prompts. Those listed are among some of the most popular negative prompts on Stable Diffusion. There's not a universal negative prompt that should be added to all Stable Diffusion images, but here are some popular negative prompts. When writing negative prompts, remember you're listing things that you don't want to see. Sometimes you have to think in double negatives. If you want to see a correct body shape, you don't want to see bad anatomy. Sometimes this type of negative thinking can really give you a headache. Night Cafe suggests using this negative prompt. Tiling is when you have an image that is divided into sections. And Dreamlike AI suggests a general negative prompt and one specifically designed for characters. Feel free to use these prompts in your own images. None of these generic prompts hit it out of the park on my example image. I still have distortions. There's not one magical negative prompt that fixes all stable diffusion distortions. It's probably better to use negative prompts specific to your image. It's sometimes hard to know what we don't want to see until we get our image back and we see the error. Now it's time to remix your image and add negative prompts. Remixing lets you keep the seed and the positive prompt but make a change, like adding negative prompts. Let's remix this image and add a couple of negative prompts. Adding a negative prompt will always change your image. Always. Sometimes it'll change it a little bit, sometimes it'll change it a lot, and not always how you've instructed. Remixing isn't the same thing as in-painting. A negative prompt for barn got rid of the barn, but added text. A negative prompt for text didn't get rid of the text, neither did prompting for no signature, words, or watermark. It looks like I'm stuck with the text. Let's step through this process and see if we can make this image better. I'm going to keep the seed and positive prompt the same and add some negative prompts in reaction to the image I get back. Let's start by trying to get the figure in the frame by adding the negative prompts out of frame and white border. That's better framing, but the woman's features are distorted. Let's add some negative prompts to see if we can get better anatomy. That didn't help a lot. Now her head is cut off and we still have body issues. Let's try again. Some of the features are now better, but what happened to my color? Let's try to get some color back and try something else with the face and the hands. 
Negative prompts do have an effect on the image, but they aren't the magic bullet that fixes everything wrong with your image. Even if I throw all sorts of negative prompts at this figure, it's not going to be perfect. Working with negative prompts can be a bit frustrating. Sometimes they seem to actually make things worse. This image already has a few negative prompts, but if I wanted to change the color and get rid of the blues, it totally messes up my image. Okay, there's no blue in the new image, but I have all sorts of other distortions. The face is still beautiful, but a lot of the nice detail is gone. Remember, the only thing I did was add a negative prompt blue. There's a very complex relationship between the negative prompts and the final image, and not one that is always predictable. There's no secret sauce to negative prompting. It really depends on what type of image you're trying to create. Let us know your favorite negative prompts for stable diffusion in the comments below. If this video is helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.